Hello everyone and welcome to my Google Earth tour of combating disease in the Solomon Islands. Here we have our beloved Earth, planet Earth, home to many of us and all of us. Here's a place that we're all familiar with, the United States of America. Now, you might be wondering, where is the Solomon Islands? Well, if you start here in America and travel across the sea, the Pacific Ocean, over Hawaii and beyond, towards Australia, you'll find the Solomon Islands nestled right next to Papua New Guinea and Vanuatu. Now, the Solomon Islands are made up of a thousand different islands, uh, small and large. Um, However, despite thousands of islands, it's actually divided up into nine provinces. And so today we're going to talk about the main province where the capital city of Haniara resides and talk about the different administrative health buildings and places there. Let's start with the airport. If we go to the airport here in Haniara, this is where, if you were to fly in from out of country, you might land, and you'd be introduced to the country. Now, Haniara uh, is the biggest city in Solomon Islands, and as you can see, as you go towards the middle of the city, there's a lot of people there. It's urban. But this is not similar to the rest of the country, which is actually rural. And because of that, there can be some concerns for healthcare. When people live out in the country, farming and in mountains, they don't have as many opportunities to get to the city and receive health care. So here in town, you have the Ministry Building of Justice and Equality. And this is one of the government buildings from which um, decisions are made about the country and the policies and uh, the House of Parliament might meet at. Uh, also, um, near these, this building is where administrative health concerns are taken care of. Um, according to the World Health Organization, Solomon Islands, uh, comparatively to other countries in the region, actually contributes quite a bit of money to basic health care. In other words, this means that um, for specifically uh, the country of Solomon Islands, uh, people can get subs subsidized transportation to healthcare, uh, which is one way that they have gone about addressing the concern of uh, the rural, uh, the people living rurally, which is most of the Solomon Islands, being able to get healthcare. Uh, they have subsidized transportations that will take them to the hospitals. Uh, another part of this is paying trained professionals to be present um, in all live births. Now, this doesn't happen in all life births, but um, a good portion of the spending for that budget goes towards uh, hiring those professionals. Um, and some of the other parts of my website, I talk about what infant mortality and maternal health looks like uh, for Solomon Islands. Um, and in this case, for combating disease and health care, it is administrated from here in town. Um, now, another problem that is becoming more prevalent in um, Solomon Islands is drinking, alcoholism. Uh, and because of that, the rate of non-communicable diseases are increasing and is causing more health concerns for people rather than uh, the typical diseases that we hear about in world health concerns and problems. Um, people who are abusing alcohol, uh, which surveys report to that 77% uh, of people are actually drinking uh, over five servings of alcohol a day. Uh, and this is contributing poorly to the health of this nation.